Good morning. Another early start. Find us on another one of our, I wouldn't say favourite walks, we maybe fish it once, maybe twice a year. And it's back on the old SOX diaries, looking for that Leviathan Pike for myself. Leviathan Pike is the classing as 25 pounds and above. Now, earlier on in the series, I did say I'll drop back to a PB, which is 20 pounds too. Still been nowhere near it. Uh, Alex might need to remind me here. I think I came close with a 19 on the lures. 19.6. 19.6. So that's still, this year, my best fish. So again, everything's crossed, fingers, toes, anything else that can be crossed, I'll cross it. Alex is here, he's, he's struggling with the old man flu now. We've got to spread our rods out with a, trying a new bait today. Some of you have maybe heard of it. I called it a sabiki this morning, but it's actually a half beak. Heard some good things about it, so we're giving that a whirl today. We'll just need to see how we go, because things haven't really been going our way lately, shall we say. But, as I say, fingers crossed. Fox alarm. Have some interest. I I reckon it's a trout. Yeah, I don't know. Just in case. I like my trout, huh? action. I think so too. Well, the baits have been out for a while. My middle rod was getting, it looked, I think, well, I don't think we know it was trout. 
just playing about with a bait and nosing it, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But I uh, rebaited all three rods there, uh, put a herring on one and the two mackerel heads of the of the whole mackerel that were halved earlier on. We cast them back out. Aye. <laughs> If ever there's a blank stare and you're right in the face, I think this might be it. Oh. Well, it's the midday report and there is absolutely hee-haw, as we say in Scotland. Nothing to report. Not a single run. And for once, Alex is a man earlier sleeping. So I might go and catch a wee, a wee 40 winks myself. But this has got blank written all over it. I don't know how these other boys and girls are finding the weather forecast, but the Met Office app that we're using, I may be dry today. Hopefully it's right now that it's be stopping about 11 o'clock, which is about a couple of hours from now. But I think we'll be stuck in the bivvy by the looks of it. Alex slipped up off his seat there. No. So I let's see what the day brings. The old dash must playing up, so excuse the coffin from time to time. The old winter weather doesn't doesn't do any good. But new year, new hopes. Still the same old challenge, trying to find that. That one inch bigger pipe than Alex is 26. But I'll settle for a, a PB, which is if you have watched this, the seasons going by, or episodes going by, it's 20 pounds and two inch. Some would say that's a mere jack pipe. But it's no for a want of trying. Right. 
the rain stopped so we'll quickly before it starts again I can see it's just around the corner uh, we'll quickly have a quick re quickly have a quick one quickly have a quick <laughs> recap of that horrendous session <laughs> that we started this video on that is the first complete and utter blank of this winter where neither of us have caught a fish uh, there's been a few sessions where I've not caught anything I'm getting used to it now uh, and today I've got a feeling it might be another one I, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it today We're on a, a loch that we know very little about and We're on an area that we've never fished before In fact, no, Gordon has Gordon fished it once before How did you get on? No, no comment Blank <laughs> So, you know what? It does, it does tick the boxes It ticks the boxes for springtime This is a flooded sort of floodplain so it's a flooded marsh area that we're fishing in. We're fishing about three feet of water. So come February and March, my my confidence levels would be a wee bit higher. It's the 3rd of January. It's still really early in the year. But you know, you never know, there might be a keen one out there somewhere. But nah. No, <laughs> not holding out much hope here. That dropped back there, nothing happened. Fuck, maybe it was just a wee jack and I left it a wee minute or two. And then seen the line twitching in the water and it shot off, so I unclipped it, tightened down and then struck into it. But I don't know whether it's caught up nor that's weed and that's what's been the problem. But definitely the hoid of the bait anyway. We've got a fresh bait on there and we'll straight back out. Well, at least that gives us a bit of hope. <laughs> well, it was a bird that'd be on the surface pin, I reckon. I can see something. Mm -hmm. I've seen something moving. <laughs> I thought as much. Time stamp, 20 past 3, we've had two runs, or I've had two runs, and that's it. <laughs> so the wee update we usually do in these videos is, is a short one I'm afraid. However, I've gave it a right good go, I've tried different baits, I've changed one of my rods there to a wee pop up with a mackerel tail, just to try something different. But two runs, it's better than no runs. Would be nice to get a fish though. But we'll keep trying, we'll keep plugging away. We'll try and put a pike at least at some point in this video. As Alex said there, the way things are going, it could be the 10th, the 10th outing before we get a fish. But after the holidays, sat in the house, chilling out, feet up, that is good, even though the weather's been crap, that is good to get my boot on the bank. So, fingers crossed. Oh, for Christ's sakes. We need the net for that.
Oh. Oh, she's a fish. <laughs> A little blank saver. Told you we'd get another one. And away. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Is this going to be the third blank in a row? In fact, no. Yesterday wasn't a blank. We were saved at the death by a little, a little jack. But yeah, we're still at it. Perseverance, determination, apparently pays off. <laughs> we'll see. But we're back at a, an area that we fished back in November. Uh, and Gordon got a couple of small fish back then. Needless to say, I didn't catch a single thing. But it is an area that Gives me a little bit of confidence, even though the last couple of times recently that I've fished here, uh, I've struggled to catch anything. This is where basically my pike fishing career, if you want to call it, uh, started. This is where I started pike fishing back when I was about 17. Uh, and I was obsessed with pike back then. That's pretty much all I did was pike fishing, pike fishing, pike fishing. Needless to say, that's kind of faded slightly. I still enjoy it. I still like it, but not to the extent that I did back then. But yeah, I've had some cracking fish from here. My first 20 came from here. Uh, maybe pop up a wee picture if I can find it. It might be in black and white, but we'll see if we can find that. Uh, and I've had I've had numerous 20s since. I uh, lost a very big fish here once. I don't want to talk about it. That's all I'll say about that. But yeah, it's been tough the last couple of sessions, but no, it's still... Fact, it's actually quite an interesting story, so do tell. Because I know hooked in like a daft wee... Perch set up or something? No, no, no. This was no. This was proper, proper pike gear. The, the same rods that I'm using. Oh, these rods. It? These rods are 20 years old. I love these rods. But no, it was it was caught back in February 2000 and something. Something. I don't know. But back then, uh, got it to the ledge. There is a ledge here, and it, it took a dive. Took a dive. Caught me off guard. I think it might have got caught in the ledge and uh, gone. And it was big. It was big. I, I don't like to see. How big I think it was, but it wasn't a 20, is what I'm saying. Uh, it was a wee bit bigger. Uh, yeah, yeah, this this lock is, it's got a reputation for being difficult, for being hard. But there's some big fish in there, there is some big fish. And yeah, I still, it still gives me confidence every time I come down here. Even though the last couple of sessions have been absolute garbage. <laughs> But yeah, it's a much better morning than yesterday. It's lovely. We stayed dry, which is nice. I'm not sure how long it'll last. But surely this time.
I am not feeling this today. I've not been feeling this for a while. This is, this is, I think, the worst run I've ever had in my fishing life. It's just, it's demoralising. It's really, it's really tough. I don't think I've had so many blanks in a row. And I am just struggling to get a wee bit excited about any of it just now. But I suppose that is fishing. Comes with ups and downs and you need to kind of ride out the rough days, but... Nah, not feeling this today. Just want to get lunch on, really. At least I've got that to look forward to. There you go, that's the way it goes.